Little known functions in Mixcraft 10. Let's start with the mixer. Did you know that you can hide the tracks or hide the ones you don't want? How about the preview track? We'll just take that out. And also you can search for tracks here. See, I can't find Tony's guitar track. Well, there it is. Next thing you can do is click this little gear icon. Customize the mixer any way you like. Don't like the big parametric EQ? Turn it off. Do like it, but want it lower? Drag it down. Set it up any way you like. Did you know that you can pull these tabs right out of there? Put them wherever you want. I've got three monitors. I can put it over here on this one, put it over here on this one. Grab and drag the corner to resize it. Put it back like it was. Let's say we've got all our tabs out. It's getting a little cluttered and you don't know where the one you want is. Let's go to view and click center all windows. Hey, there they are. Notice that my transport bar is on the top, while yours is probably down here. You can grab this little handle, drag it, leave it floating, put it on a different monitor, or put it up there in the top. And how about this little gem that not many people know about? Don't want to click the effects button to get this window and uh, add or remove or adjust your effects? How about if you just drag right here, and there they are. Another cool trick is if you right click on this effects button, it's going to open all the plug-in windows that are on that track. And then if you hold control on your keyboard, right click again, it closes them all. And here's a handy little function. If you right click at the, on the timeline and click show marker list, we get your list of markers and you can actually start playback from any marker. <laughs> And you can add a marker, and you can close it. Using Melodyne on clips, you're going to want to click this Finalize button, because if you don't, Melodyne remains active on that clip, and if you do a bunch of clips across your project, you're using a whole bunch of CPU power that you don't need to. Click Finalize, it creates a new WAV file with your edits right in the file. And how about this, multiple clips in the piano roll. If I highlight a couple of them, you can see that we have these sort of ghost notes here. If I right click, we're going to switch the editor to that clip, and the other clip becomes the ghost notes. Here in the piano roll, this button is called Scale Snap, and here's what it does. I've got my scale set to E major, and if I drag this... And finally, we're going to go into Preferences up here under the Project section. We've got the Autosave feature. And you may not know this, but you can actually type in a 1, which is not in our drop-down list, and it'll save every minute. Hey, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.